Symbolic cutting of tape marking the official relocation of the Anti-Corruption Commission out of the Cathedral House at Gloucester Street to its newly constructed edifice called Integrity House at Tower Hill in Freetown. The multi-billion Leon's building is exclusively funded by the government of Sierra Leone. In his keynote address, President Julius Madabio called to end corruption, not just in governance, but the private sector as well. He reaffirmed that to win the fight against corruption, all citizens must be involved. First in 2019, I signed into law an amendment of the Anti-Corruption Act that significantly strengthened the hands of the Anti-Corruption Commission. That was my very first act. That legislative change, among other things, established the Special Anti-Corruption Division of the High Court of Sierra Leone, with dedicated judges to expeditiously try corruption cases. Ladies and gentlemen, that has had a very positive impact on our fight against corruption. We have registered unprecedented trial and conviction rates. We have increased the likelihood tenfold that corruption cases will be investigated and tried in the competent, dedicated courts of Sierra Leone and persons convicted will face the full force of the law. Another aspect of this success is the recovery of over 45 billion leons from individuals who have paid for those monies from the state. Reflecting on his five years' journey, the Anti-Corruption Commissioner Francis Ben Kaifala stated that in 2013, Sierra Leone was rated among the most corrupt countries in the world and that since the present government took over in 2018, the country has been consistently scoring high in global, regional and domestic anti-corruption rankings. In the world, on the fight against corruption, we are trailblazing. In the MCC control of corruption, before the day I spoke to the president in his house at Juba, we are failing at 49%. Down the line, we have gone as high as 83%. And we have passed that control of corruption scorecard five years in a row. Chief Justice of the Republic of Sierra Leone, Desmond Babatunde Edwards, gives an update on the anti-corruption court and some of the cases dealt with. Consequently, I had to go solo in the setting up of the infrastructure for the anti-corruption division and the eventual commissioning of courts number five and six, an independent registry which were purpose built and commissioned on the 9th of December 2019. While you two have now come up with this building single-handedly with the government spending. Thus, as we stand here today, Sierra Leone can boast of a specialized court and an independent registry to deal with anti-corruption cases while at the same time speak of a dedicated building, Integrity House, to handle and process all anti-corruption cases without the unfortunate position of renting out premises and the inconveniences posed. Construction of the three-story building called the Integrity House has been ongoing for the past eight years and according to the anti-graft body, it is a step towards strengthening the war on corruption in the country. Salifu Chorna Kamara, 